here we are looking at the slide of the renal infarction. Here at the bottom, uh, we have the sur part of the surface of the kidney. This is the cortex, and here we have the renal medulla. In this part, in the cortical area, uh, we have renal infarction. Renal infarction is an ischemic necrosis which occurs due to complete occlusion of the main renal artery or sometimes uh, due to the occlusion of a segmental branch of the renal artery. There are two major causes of renal infarction, thromboembolus or in situ thrombosis. The major source of embolism uh, is the heart and thromboembolus can occur from the aortic atherosclerotic plaque. Renal infarction is usually wedge-shaped uh, area of coagulative necrosis or at least something that looks like wedge-shaped lesion. The wedge or the triangle has the broader base near the renal surface and the apex is um, localized near the medulla. This shape of the renal necrosis is caused by the anatomic distribution of the branches of the renal artery. So the renal artery has uh, the larger branches which are centrally located. We can see it here, for example, here or here. And the artery is branching into smaller and smaller arteries as it go uh, near the surface. So when you close the renal artery here, for example, all the area supplied uh, by this renal artery is then ischemic and therefore we can see the wedge shaped or triangular shape of the necrosis. Now let's cl go closer to see how the necrosis looks like under the microscope. It is typically coagulation necrosis because of high protein content of the renal parenchyma and therefore we can still see the retain shapes of the cells but the nuclei are lost. That's because we have degeneration of the basophilic structures like DNA or RNA, uh, which has blue appearance in an H and E staining. Here we have the border in between the viable parenchyma on the left side and necrotic ischemic parenchyma in the center. We can compare these normal viable glomeruli and the renal tubules with these sclerotic ischemic shadow like. Uh, glomeruli and uh, completely degenerated uh, renal tubules. Ischemic necrosis is usually followed by acute inflammation uh, therefore at least in the in the early stages of the renal infarction we can see vasodilation and uh, acute inflammatory infiltration uh, in the border it, in between the vital or viable tissue and necrosis. This is slightly older stage of the renal infarction, therefore acute inflammation is not very prominent, but here and there we can still uh, see some dilated blood vessels filled with erythrocytes. Over the time, infarcted, infarcted area would be filled with granulation tissue, which would mature into the scar tissue, which fills the defect. Alright, so this is the renal infarction. Thanks for watching.